Well, it's January 20th, and we know what has all happened today, and we know that feelings are very mixed. Now, I feel compelled to leave this message um, to sort of share how I'm feeling at the minute, if it's worth anything to anybody. But I've awoken today, I'm in Los Angeles, um, so I'm a good eight hours behind a lot of my friends and friends' family uh, in the UK, as well as, you know, friends all over the country. But I've awoken to hundreds of messages from people um, on social media, on uh, text messages, uh, etc. in regards to how the rest of the world is feeling right now. Um, and I guess it's sort of how I'm feeling too. Uh, first and foremost, <laughs> I've woken today and it is pretty much dark outside here in LA. It's raining, it's pouring, and that sort of seems to be the mood with everybody. If they're not laughing, literally laughing out loud um, at watching the inauguration and what's happening in Washington DC, people are sad, people are scared. And I have to say for the first time in my life, you know, I've lived all over the world. I've been very, very, very blessed and fortunate to have lived all over the world and experienced many different cultures. Um, experienced many different types of people and again I say people we're not races we're not sexualities we're not uh, anything but humans and I've and I've really found that the human spirit all over the world has means well that people want to do good things however today uh, like I said for the first time ever in my life have I not felt very safe I don't feel like what's happening right now has the best interest in mind for the vast majority of, I shouldn't say majority, but the whole population of our country. Um, I don't think the, the powers that be at the minute want anything for us. I know that's the tagline that's being used is giving the power back to the people. However, that's impossible. That is physically impossible to give the power back to the people. In a sense, we've always had the power. We are a democracy. We vote. We're allowed to have freedom of speech, which is, you know, which is very fortunate. There's a, a lot of cultures and, and countries out there that don't have freedom of speech. And we see how that affects them. We see how that af affects their, their society. However, the messages I've been receiving from friends of mine who have kids, they don't feel safe. One of my friends just actually commented on a Facebook post saying that she actually has discussed with her children an exit plan in case we might need that. Is that a little bit extreme? I hope so. But is that reality right now? I believe so. Um, I do believe that this country, America, the United States of America, is filled with good people. I don't think people maliciously, in general, um, make bad decisions. How do you judge a bad decision? I guess you don't know that it's a bad decision until after the fact. And I, and I sort of think right now that regardless of who's in power of this, this country at the minute and, and how this person is going to affect the rest of the world, but waking up today and waking up to all of these messages and, and the rest of the world laughing at what's going on, they don't take this seriously. And I don't understand how this has happened. With healthcare, 22 million people in the United States of America may be without medical insurance, which, as far as I'm concerned, if people start dying left and right, if this affordable health care um, system gets abolished or, or it gets overturned, and people start dying, is that not murder from our government? Can that not be seen as being irresponsible as a government? My own family are on the affordable health care plan with pre-existing conditions and if that gets taken away what is going to happen these people my own family myself will be without health care will be without an option for insurance to cover the medical expenses i don't know it's i feel very empty today i will say this I will be praying now more than I probably ever have been in my life. And is that a good thing? <laughs> probably yes. Putting my trust in the ha higher power.
can't be a bad thing. And I hope that something good comes out of this. I believe, I actually have faith that something good is going to come out of this. So, God bless America. Thank you for listening. Um, and as another one of my friends has said today, she feels very sad for our country. She feels very sad for what's happening, but there are still good Americans out there. And, um, yeah, so I guess to be continued.